Nowadays, learning English is a must thing. And if you are a foreigner and not living in a country which speaks in English, then probably you need to learn a third language. Researchers say that people who speak more than one language have improved memory, problem solving, critical thinking skills, better concentration, ability to multitasking, and better listening skills. So it's not that bad. In my case, my mother tongue is Turkish. I have learned English and I have learned German. And I knew a little bit Chinese, but I didn't really study it, so I started to forget. Before we coming to the learning methods, we need to talk about the forgetting curve. Forgetting curve was found by German psychologist Hermann Ebbinghaus in 1885. In 1880, he started to test on himself, and in 1885, he published his first hypothesis as Überdas Gedächtnis. In English, memory a contribution to experimental psychology. He repeatedly tested himself and recorded the results. And in the end, he was able to find an equation. And in the end, he was able to create the graph and show forgetting curve. Ebbinghaus also said that the speed of forgetting depends on number of factors, such as difficulty of the material, its representation, or outside factors, noise. For example, in my case, if I try to study and if there is clock in a room and if it is ticking, then it will immediately affect my concentration and I wanna just melt them. Oh. <laughs> okay, not like this. So Ebbinghaus has also worked on spacing effect. He was suggesting if a person studies longer than 50 minutes, the person needs to give at least 10 minutes space. So 10 minutes and then 50 minutes or 30 minutes and then 10 minutes and then 30 minutes again. So this we are this way, you can change the forgetting curve. The other thing to change your forgetting curve is reputation. So you need to study that topic and the second one, for example, in a daily basis. So, for example, you studied one time in your life and then you never studied again, you will forget it. And according to some researchers, they say, average, if you teach a person 100% information, they will forget 50% of it in one hour. And then they are going to forget 70% of it in 24 hours and they will be forgetting 90% of it in one week. So if you do not repeat what you are doing, you will definitely forget everything what you have learned. What am I doing to change my forgetting curve? And how am I studying actually? And how I learn a language? We say that repetition is very important, but how can you study every day? Every day studying means you don't have to study two or three hours. You need to study at least 15 minutes. And after 15 minutes, if you wanna study, you can of course continue. If you don't wanna study anymore, you can stop. But every day, at least 15 minutes, you need to read something or you need to write something or you need to call a friend or watch a video. You can also watch my video. This is also something. So you need to practice at least one thing in one day. And 15 minutes is, is actually nothing. It is, uh, if you, if you believe yourself, if you really want to do this, I think 15 minutes is 
nothing. We say that we need to give at least 10 minutes break. Of course, you need to give some break between the sessions so you can drink your coffee, eat something and then start fresh again. You need to understand yourself first. How do you learn better? For me, I learn if I write. If I write everything, I will remember it later. I learn if I take notes. So if you are also like me, then go for it. I learn if I explain to myself. I also learn if I teach to another person. Or if there is no one, then if I act like I am teaching. I find a topic, I research it, I understand everything and then I rewrite or re-explain via my words. It, with this way, I will not forget my words because they are simple for me. They are not complicated for me. So I will not forget them. So you can do the same thing. You can find one topic and research it write about it and talk about it. it doesn't have to be to a person but if you can find a person only one person to talk about it you can always talk about it there will be many people who are willing to help you once you learn something and explain it to a person you can always go and explain it to another one you need to use your words you need to use what did what you have learned that is the most important thing. And don't be afraid making mistakes. People are there to help you guys. So they're gonna help you. You can use Tandem. It is one of the platforms that you can improve your language. You can find people who want to learn your language and you can learn from them as well. So it, via this way, both ways will improve themselves. Sometimes we say that I can understand, but I cannot answer. This is because you are not practicing your speaking skills. So you need to speak with a person or with yourself. If you don't know how to pronounce it, you can always ask some people or try Google Translate, anything. So because of that, you shouldn't only focus on your, for example, reading skills, but you should also focus on your writing skills and the listening and speaking skills. So you need to focus on all four. So if you are learning two languages at the same time, or improving two languages at the same time, it can be sometimes too much. For me, it was like that. That's why I told myself, okay, 15 minutes, whatever I wanna do, 15 minutes English, 15 minutes German, and if I wanna continue, I can continue. If I don't wanna continue, I can stop. That's fine but sometimes for example with the Chinese I didn't want to really study because after because I learned Chinese language when I was in China and then I came back from China and I couldn't really use it and I had to give some priority to other languages. and since I wasn't using it I started to forget so in this case, you need to ask yourself, which language is more important for you? Or do you really want to learn a language? Why do you need to learn a language? If you learn this language, will it change your life or help you? Or what happens if you don't learn this language? You can think about the worst scenario and then you can decide. And in my case, I, was, I had to focus on other languages but sometimes I'm thinking maybe in the future I can come back and remember it because it never goes away. If you study again, you will get it again, so it doesn't matter. That's why it depends on you guys. It is your goal. You have to find and decide your goal. So once you're exhausted, you can remind yourself, I want to do this because of this. 
And if it is always like that, maybe that language is not relevant for you. Maybe that language is not okay for you. Maybe you need to learn another language, which is better for you. So you need to understand yourself. Thank you so much for watching me. If you like my video, please thumbs up. And I see you guys on my next video. Ciao.